All right, perfect. Thank you so much for joining us today, guys. And uh, welcome, congratulations, uh, Saki, for choosing QVA to be part of your business. We are so lucky that you consider us to help you out scaling your business. So uh, yeah, to, tonight we will be doing a group interview. So we have Obrien, I, I think the other one was dropped, Christine and uh, Danielle. So let's just wait for the two other VAs to jump in. But before we get started, uh, is it okay if you introduce a bit of yourself, uh, Sakib, and your business background too? Mm -hmm. So they would know more about you. Thank you. Yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. So my name is Sakib. Um, I um I go by Mac. That's kind of my nickname. Mac. Um, I was born and raised in the U.S. here. Um, and I live in Buffalo, New York, right now. Um, I know you guys. Most of you guys are in the Philippines, so it's kind of nighttime for you guys. It's early morning for me. <laughs> um, uh, in terms of my business, uh, I run an affiliate marketing offer. Basically, we help people earn around 50 different sources of passive income using only one referral link. Um, and the mission is to help people kind of build out a, um, an affiliate marketing business where they can, you know, they can live off of that without having to have 10, 15 different offers that they're constantly pushing. Uh, and so that's, that's the mission with it. Uh, right now, our funnel kind of works in a way where we offer a free course uh, in exchange for an email. And then we have autoresponders that constantly go out to them. And throughout that free course, they're given a tool. They're told they're kind of given instructions to use different tools that are paid. And those have affiliate links. And so we earn through those affiliate links. Plus, there's a, a partner membership that they can sign up for. That's about $200 or so. Um, and so if, one, if they sign up for the partner membership, there's a lot of extra perks and everything. And so that's kind of what our main business is right now. All right, that's amazing. Thank you for sharing that. All right, so let's get started. Um, you may ask questions now. Uh, feel free to mention their names and they will answer. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, so just I wanted to mention um, in terms of what I was looking for, uh, for, you know, for a VA to perform for me, uh, is kind of uh, uh, a, a few things. And so first, the main thing would be prospecting on social media. And so that would be LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram. Uh, besides that, uh, I, I would like for, so if, if someone, if one of you could handle my social, me social media posting, uh, I have some posts ready, plus you can also curate some posts here and there. And then also just handle following up with people on, on social media as well. Um, and last, something that's something we can look into later on is uh, possibly taking those emails that I have from free um, people who are using the free course and, you know, finding their phone numbers online and then, you know, calling them just to kind of create that urgency. Uh, but that would be a little bit farther down the line, though. So just to start off, um, I just wanted to know a little bit more about you guys. Uh, I guess we could just start with Christine. Um, that's my top right over here um, in my view. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about you, like you know, your family life, things like okay. that? Okay, so um, my name is Christine. I have been a virtual assistant since 2018. I started working as an admin assistant and data entry specialist for a company in Chile. And um, in 2020, when the pandemic happened, I was one of those who got laid off. And I have I lost my job because the the company had to shut down and I made use of my employment up to study everything there is with social media. And in 2021, that's when I started working as a social media manager, mainly focusing on the content side, content planning, writing, um, scheduling, uh, content creation, and the basic photo and video editing. I also plan out magnets. I sometimes write lead for, uh, for lead magnet offers and they also write for newsletters sent out. And when it comes to messaging and calling prospects, I really don't have experience with that. But I would, but I've been actively attending our trainings and watching our training videos on our portal. But I would say my strength really there is in an admin assistance and uh, the right writing and the content side of social media. Not really much on the messaging. 
Got it. Got it. Yeah, I, I appreciate you sharing all that with with me. Um, so you you mentioned that you don't have experience with um, messaging or calling mainly. Um, would you say you're comfortable with uh, with uh, getting on the phone or you know prospecting on social media? I haven't really tried that yet, but I'm open to mm -hmm. uh, trying that out and learning that. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. That's great. Um, yeah. So just uh, moving on, uh, Obrin, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Orion Orbe. I am I am a highly motivated and passionate in performing my task, uh, the task a task given to me. I'm also a dedicated person. Um, on my previous client, I handle four of their business spaces for social media management, graphic design, content creation, creating video clips creating and building their community groups in FB and LinkedIn as well as engagement. For the life coach client that I had, I do admin tasks, business branding. I also do social media and optimization in all platforms, graphic design for daily posts, cover photos, event banners and thumbnails, content creation, planning and scheduling, video editing and creating daily email templates. So I also do create uh, build her community in FB and LinkedIn as well as the engagement there. Um, I also do some campaigns and up in for registration on events, freebies, and promos. I also do campaign. Uh, I also had the booking of appointments through calls and DM. Um, I do have a basic knowledge in SEO for your business to be seen in search engines. That includes website analysis, keyword research, on and off page optimization if you have a website, bank linking as, as well, and FB ad. So here, as you can see, I love to learn and I'm very much willing to adapt advanced ideas and challenges for your growth, for your business growth and for my personal growth as well. I always put myself on my client's shoes because I've been an entrepreneur on my part. So, I always put on my clients just to give the best of my ability to serve my client. That's all. I appreciate you sharing all that. That's really awesome. It sounds like you have a lot of experience, a lot of different things. Um, so uh, uh, just a similar question uh, for uh, for you. Um, do, do, are you comfortable with uh, Facebook prospecting and cold calling? Yeah, I'm, I've, rather, I've been yeah. doing that, of course. I've been doing that uh, through polls and DM. For my client. Oh, okay, awesome. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's good to hear. Um, and so I guess just moving on. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounce any of your names wrong, but uh, Neil, is, is that is that the right pronunciation? Yeah, that's right. It's Neil. Can you hear me very well? Yeah. Yeah. Got you it. So yeah. Um, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, can you tell me a little about yourself? All right, <laughs> I'm Genial. I am actually a social media manager for over three years now. So I'm basically holding a lot of social medias from the past, uh, basically more on real estate. And then aside from that, I do also handle a lot of events. So I am tasked to create calendar contents for over the month. So basically, I'm a student of Google here, here in the Philippines. So I know a lot of tools based in Google, and especially with my uh, Microsoft Teams already. And I have an, a complete certificate from Google and also from the Thames International School providing by the entrepreneurship and digital marketing skills. So when you, if you ask me to have if I have an experience doing calls, yes, I do have a uh, prospecting, cold calling, um, defining if that is nurture or not. So I do have an experience in that. And then also creating a graphics, videos, and um, creating thumbnails. So I do have an experience with that. So everything that uh, part of social media management, I have an experience for that because I'm doing it for almost three years now. And then aside from that, I also have a basic knowledge in uh, in SEO, and then aside from that, and also in admin, admin task, and then also in um, uh, more on uh, more on papers and backlogs. That's all. Yeah, that's awesome. I appreciate you sharing all that with me. Uh, so sounds like you you've definitely done uh, done a lot of research and learned a lot over the years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and so just yeah, of course, of course. And so just moving on, um, Mary, can you tell me a little a little bit about yourself? 
Yeah. Hi. I am Mary Joy Villegas. I am 28 years old and I'm I'm very I'm a very compassionate and everything I do. Uh, for my previous experience, I was I started my journey as a freelance virtual assistant just last year. I work with an American client. He, um, I manage his LinkedIn account. I send connection requests and then update it on the tracker. Get all the information of the potential clients and then I send direct messages to them once we get connected. And then I also do email marketing using MailChimp and Network Solution Platform. I also experienced working as a lead generalist and a, and an appointment center and a cold caller for a real estate company in Florida. I make phone calls to homeowners in Florida to, to see if they are interested in selling their property. And I get the information um, from them to determine their motivation. And right now, as um, I am newly hired in QVA, and still I haven't, I, ha I don't have yet a client. I always join their weekly online training for me to be able to learn more and to be more equipped about the role of becoming a virtual assistant. Of course, yeah, that sounds really great. So uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that role as a cold caller? Uh, kind of uh, what were your KPIs there? And, um, uh, how, how, how was that experience for you? Well, um, I, ju I just I make phone calls mm -hmm. and then I get the chance to talk with different people, different personalities. And um, it feels so fulfilling, especially when I book or schedule an appointment for my client. Um, that, that's it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Definitely, yeah. Also, and um, I can relate with all of you guys. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Well, also, I have a basic knowledge in using Canva because I really love um, editing photos. I can say that I'm oh, great. a creative person. Way back high school, um, I actually uh, awarded uh, awarded as an artist of the year when we graduated. Oh, congrats! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you so much. That's great. Yeah, uh, of course, of course. And I, I, I just want to let you guys know I can relate to you guys in terms of your uh, uh, your VA. Um, activities because I also used to be a VA myself and I moved up and built my own business from that. Um, and so last but definitely not least, Diana, can you tell me a little, little bit about yourself? Oh, hi, Sikir. I am, hello everyone. So I am Diana, 24 years old and yeah, I was a administrative assistant for two years in a Pearl Farm production here in the Philippines and was also a customer service representative in a T-Mobile account. And um, what else? Um, yeah, I just, um, I, I just um, experienced being a VA just this year um, for a month, I think. So I am handling social media, um, DM marketing, and of course, um, the lead generation. That's all. Got it. Got it. Well, I appreciate you sharing that with me. Um, it's nice to see you. You know, so, so, you know, getting getting started, in it, being new to the group, uh, being new to the work and everything. You know, it's good. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you. You know, coming into the into the field. Um, Thank you. So and so, I just kind of want to ask you guys now uh, what your availability is. Uh, are you guys available around uh, how many hours per week would you be available if you have another job, things like that. And so I guess we can just go in the same order if you guys remember what the order was. Starting with Christine. I would say I'm available at noon your time, if that works mm -hmm. for you. 
So yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I have another client with QVA as well. And my mm -hmm. time is in the afternoon. And also I have my grandma that I'm taking care of the morning and um, mm -hmm. early in the afternoon. So basically your afternoon, I can work uh, around that time. That's good. That's going to be nighttime for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Got it. Yeah. I was about to ask. Okay. Yeah. That makes perfect <laughs> sense. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, O'Brien, uh, your, uh, your availability? Well, I'm starting next week. I'll be available. <laughs> Every, mm -hmm. uh, which, whichever time would you would choose. But mm -hmm. of course, um, since I am a mom, of two mm -hmm. so i guess i choose a night shift also on my part so that will be night shift, okay. morning to you i guess mm -hmm. um there because i need to attend with my kids of course, and of course yeah i can completely understand that's no problem at all and uh and uh neil um how, how about yeah. you in terms of I can, availability yeah, i can work at your time anytime this week. all right okay okay all right great um and uh, Mary Joy. Well, I can work any time of the day since I'm very available and I'm very flexible. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. Yeah, sounds good. And Diana, uh, how about your availability? Uh, are you there, Diana? Can you hear us, Diana? I think she has problem with the internet. You're on mute. You're on mute, Diana. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I I do have a client in seven to eleven, so I can work um like eight p.m. onwards. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's perfectly fine with me. That, that, that sounds good. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, last question. I just want to end it off on a, a you know on a on a less serious note with you guys. Can you tell me your favorite color? So I guess starting with Christine, I guess. Favorite color would be pink. <laughs> pink. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how about you, O'Brien? <laughs> My favorite color is gray gray okay that's a good color it's uh you know it's very versatile for sure uh how about you neil um, my favorite color is black black yeah. okay nice nice also a good color definitely and how about you mary joy <laughs> my favorite color is purple it's calming in my eyes <laughs> <laughs> yeah me too actually my favorite color is also purple <laughs> we're the same <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, for sure. And how are you, Diana? My favorite color is black and white because um, as I read in a book, um, it symbolizes success. Really? Oh, that's very cool. I didn't know that. That's good to know. I appreciate you sharing that with me. Yeah, so, you know, I appreciate you guys coming on today. Uh, it was it was really nice meeting you all. Um, hopefully by the end of the day, you know, one of you guys will hear back from. Um, I assume Nomi's gonna uh, let you guys know. Uh, what, you know, kind of how we're gonna move forward. All right, thank you so much for your time, Mac, and thank you guys for joining us today. So, uh, yeah, Mac, if you can announce who you wanted to work with later on the mastermind group chat, please, so we can yep, all see it. All right, and then as yep. you in your VA, we will be scheduling our onboarding call, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great one, everyone. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye.